Well, Tati Westbrook just came back and released her video titled Why I Did It, explaining why she made the video about James Charles. And there are some very valuable lessons we can learn from this situation. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at the YouTube community, drama that's going on, and try to take this mess and turn it into a message. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And in case you missed it, I just uploaded a video because I keep getting all these requests to make a video about the Trisha Paytas and Nikocado Avocado situation. So I just addressed that and why I haven't made a video about it. So. Go check that out, it'll be linked up in the info card and everything like that. So yeah, I wanna talk about this situation with Tati Westbrook and I'd open up a larger discussion around this, all right? So as I discuss this, I think it's, I think the most important thing to do in this situation between Tati Westbrook and James Charles is realize that she never thought this was going to happen. I mentioned this in a few videos, she never thought that this was going to happen. In her original video, um, she she talked about how she she thought in her mind that she was going to be on the wrong side of this thing and get a bunch of hate and everything like that. Um, sometimes us creators, when we make a video, we're like, all right, you know, is this video gonna perform well or how's it gonna be, what the reaction is gonna be like. For most of us creators, there's a lot of thought that goes into what we're about to put out, right? Obviously, there are some very impulsive videos that, you know, all of us put out and we're like, oh, oh, shouldn't have done that, right? So I think it's important to start out the video by talking about that. But as I watch this, I couldn't help, I couldn't help but relate this to my own experience being somebody who's in long-term recovery from drugs and alcohol, working in an addiction treatment center and everything like that because it is very reminiscent of like an intervention, right? An intervention for somebody that you love. And like, there's different ways to go about an intervention when somebody's addicted to drugs or alcohol where, you know, you kind of talk to them about it, you talk to them about it, you talk to them about it, they don't do anything. You gotta do something a little bit more drastic. If any of you have seen the show Intervention, that is a formal intervention and that is like a last ditch effort to get the person to go and get help, right? So in Tati's perception of the situation, it seemed like that's where she felt that she was, where she has tried to reach out to James Charles and talk to him about his behavior, what he's doing and everything. And she's like, you know what? The only way I'm gonna get through to this kid is if I make something very, very public, you know? And she talks about in her video about how she was worried that if she didn't do something drastic, James Charles is going to get himself into a lot of trouble. Now, one of the issues is, is that us as viewers, not knowing the people involved in this, what else is going on? And throughout making these videos and everything, like I try to run through these scenarios and just the way my brain works, I run through worst case scenarios. Like what could possibly be going on that we don't know about, right? Especially because I've made a lot of videos about Jeffree Star being hypocritical throughout this whole situation and Jeffree Star saying like, oh, James Charles is a, a predator and a danger to society. I'm like, what could it possibly be? Like, it would have, in my mind, it would have to be something so extreme unless, to be honest, you're just being kind of extra about it. But perception is reality. Tati Westbrook, and something I don't want to do to Tati Westbrook is, she talked about Gabriel Zamora like minimizing her feelings, okay? Like, I do believe I do believe that it's important that we respect everybody's reality and their feelings. And like, I'm glad Tati Westbrook talked about that, but at the same time, and going back again, like she never knew this was gonna happen. At the same time, it's like, am I making a bigger deal out of this than I should be, right? Because yes, we are entitled to our own feelings. We are entitled to our own emotions. We are entitled to those things, but as somebody who has had personal mental health struggles and I try to talk to people and educate people about mental health, you know, from my own, uh, you know, my own research and learning and my own experience is this. Sometimes our perception of a situation, sometimes the emotions that we're feeling around a situation are not necessarily the reality. For example, how many of you out there 
have ever had something happen to you in a day, like maybe at the beginning of the day or whatever it is, something happened to you and it just felt like the end of the world. It literally felt like it was the end of the world. The end of your existence was happening. And now looking back on that situation, you're like, eh, that wasn't that big of a deal. This is why I preach to people about meditation and mindfulness and everything, because it helps us regulate our emotions and say, okay, is, are my emotions justified for this situation? Because we are very emotional creatures. Oftentimes we react to situations rather than respond. And something that I have to do for my own equanimity and emotional regulation is look at situations and say, okay, is my perception of this situation actually reality? So circling back to how this was very reminiscent of like an intervention for somebody, that's Tati's perception. And I, you know, that's none of my business what her perception of the situation is, but I'm like, what was James Charles doing that was going to lead him on a path of, of destruction. And maybe, maybe it's based on my own experience and my own reality. When I hear things like that, like I come from a world of life and death, right? I come from a world where <clears throat> in my over three years working at the drug and alcohol treatment center, I've had 70 people in that time span die, right? From relapse overdoses to suicides and everything like that. So when I interpret that, I, I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm like, okay, is James Charles like addicted to heroin or something? Is he doing something illegal? Like, what is he doing? What is he doing? What is this path of destruction that he is on? Because when I hear the situation, like, I'm just like, okay, like, maybe he's just a dick, right? And yes, that should be called out. So going back to like, why Tati Westbrook did this, like, some people need this, like, and I think she did a very good job addressing this of, like, I think James Charles needed to get, like, you know, the metaphorical, like, slap in the face, like, boom, hey, bro, time to straighten up, like, we all need that, like, hell, I just went through my own thing uh, a couple months ago, not to this magnitude, but it was a, a slap in the face for me, and I'm like, okay, Chris, you can keep doing what you love and whatever, but, like, Obviously, there's some things that you need to work on. But the question I want all of us to be asking ourselves is, when, when is it our place to say something, right? This is something that I struggle with all the time, doing like commentary and everything. Like, when is it my place to step in, to say something about a situation, to bring awareness, to bring attention to a situation like, when is it my place? Because Tati Westbrook felt like it was her place to do this, right? Like James Charles has, you know, has a mother, right? And then Tati Westbrook was like his mentor, a mother-like figure, right? But was it her place to put James Charles on blast publicly like that, right? Because Something that's helped me with my own sanity, especially with people in my life and people I've had to cut out of my life. Like I can definitely empathize with Tati Westbrook and what she's been through and just having crappy friends. Like there comes a certain point where I'm just like, you know what, it's, it's not my place. Like I don't, I, don't need to, I don't need to put this person on blast and tell them a little something about themselves. Like somebody else in their life can do that. For me, for my own sanity, I just need to step away from the situation. So. That's what I want all of you to ask, not just about your own personal life, but also in this situation. Do you believe that Tati Westbrook being such good friends with James Charles, it was her place to call him out on this? Or should she have just gracefully backed out of this situation? And I will say this in closing, because I just made a video about Anna Connor, like, Watching Tati Westbrook, I feel like I'm a pretty good judge of a character. Like when you when you work in addiction treatment center, you gotta like, you gotta have a pretty good radar for BS, right? And watching Tati Westbrook, like you can tell that she is being authentic. Like when she's telling everybody to stop the hate, to not you know um, blow this thing out of proportion and like pick sides and everything like that, you can tell she really means that and really feels that, and that's just. 
that's just my opinion on the situation because I've let, dealt with a, a lot of people who have tried to BS and everything. And plus, right now on YouTube with all the apology videos that come out, everybody's like sitting there analyzing and critiquing and everything like that. But the last thing I want to talk about is, is that I do think it's important, in, just in my opinion, that Tati Westbrook needs to take a look at her relationship with Jeffree Star. Like, more and more videos are being made about that, and like, I just really think that. And I think in this whole situation, a lot of people have to ask themselves, like, what, how much of an influence was Jeffree Star on James Charles? And people who continue their relationship with Jeffree Star kind of have to sit back and ask themselves that same question and say, like, what, what was Jeffree Star's role in creating James Charles, you know? But at the end of the day, like, my, my opinion on, or uh, just even what I think is gonna happen, I think these two are gonna make up. I think it would be the best for both of them. I do think they need a break from each other. Like some of you with your own friends, like I've had to take friend breaks and just come back later and say, listen, I wasn't in a place to pursue this like friendship. So hopefully everything works out for James Charles and Tati Westbrook, all right? But anyways, anyways, I would love to know your thoughts, your experience and everything like that down in the comments below. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, support what I'm doing here, get your name in the credits, get involved in our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.